non com And I don't know if she's giving what she's supposed to give. Sponsor me, L'Oreal. Anyway. y'all so here is the product it's the l'oreal paris infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder that is what the product looks like original ooh. originally i picked up two different shades i got 365 copper which is the one that i will be actually using because i feel like it's closer of a match for me but i also got 375 deep amber which it looks like this so as you can see focus focus all right so as you can see the 365 is a bit closer of a match for me so i'm gonna go with this one and i might use this one as like a bronzer or something i haven't decided if i'm gonna take it back but so let me read up for you guys on what this foundation is supposed to do. I'm on Ulta site. It says L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. Covers like a liquid and mattifies like a powder with no cakey look. Benefits up to 24 hour matte finish with buildable to full coverage. No transfer, waterproof, heat proof, and sweat proof. Lightweight formula that feels breathable. Features the formula is non com I'm just gonna flash the word on the screen and if y'all can read it, you can read it. With no greasy feel and is suitable for all skin types, oily skin and acne prone skin. So I definitely have acne prone skin as y'all can see by, you know, my little marks. It says how to use, use brush slash sponge to apply all over face, build as needed. And the ingredients look like standard ingredients. So usually I would use a wet like real technique sponge but since this is a powder I feel like you probably shouldn't wet it it comes with this little pad thing I will not be using it because those things usually suck um no offense to l'oreal it's just a standard that the little sponges that come with powder foundation suck but it does feature a little mirror on here so that's cool I remember back in the day when you couldn't get a mirror from a product for jack squat unless you were paying guap so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my primer and stuff because I want this foundation to get a fair chance I'm just going to go ahead and say that I do not usually use powder foundation so I'm really taking a chance on this one and I want to give it I want to give it, you know, a fair shot. I want to give it its chance to to shine, you know? I want to I want to see if it can hold up to a liquid foundation. Cuz I think the last time I used a powder foundation, I was like freshman in college and I was just a spring chicken who believed that I could make any any product work for me. I was just convinced that I was the queen of making products work and I was not <laughs> like I was walking around looking caked up it was not cute but I'm older I'm wiser now you know I do have more experience there is more on the market than there was in 2015 so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make this work all the products ooh, all the products that I use will be linked down below in the description box because we're not going to highlight the other products right now we're right now we're all about the the L'Oreal you know so we're going to go ahead and color correct as much as I believe in this foundation I just don't think that it's going to I just don't think that it's going to correct um, all the horrors that have come across with my skincare since we have moved like this is just these bags right now these bags have bags all right like the the bags under my eyes they they are here with a vengeance they're not they, they didn't come to play with anybody so I don't want to I don't want to put the foundation in the mix you know the foundation didn't have anything to do with 
the stress, so I'm not going to hold it against it. Look at that, she's looking more youthful already. So I am going to use this brush. It's just like a standard foundation brush from BH Cosmetics. It's the rose gold number two foundation brush, if that matters. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put a little bit on. We're gonna see how build buildable she is. I'm gonna start on my cheeks because that's the area that usually needs the most attention. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all get a little closer. Honestly, I don't know if it's making a difference. Um, this is the side with foundation, this is the side without. Um, I'm not gonna judge yet, I'm not gonna judge it yet. Y'all, I don't know. This this might be a bust. Um, still gonna give it its chance. Gonna give it its fair shot. But I don't know. This isn't. I'm using a lot, and I don't know if she's giving what she's supposed to give. It applies very smooth. I will give it that. Um, I don't know. It's. Um, I would say it's giving your skin but better. It's not giving matte though. And I'm applying a lot. Mm, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I am going to use, I am going to use the little sponge it comes with. Maybe, maybe that'll make the difference. Okay. I'm gonna get a good little bit on there. And I'm gonna direct it to like my scarring. You know what? You know what? I think the sponge, the sponge helps. The sponge helps. All right, um, I take back what I said about the sponges that come with drugstore foundation. Maybe they knew what they were doing with this one. Yeah, yeah, it's applying a lot better with the sponge. All right, so now I know that. I know that now, so yeah, all right. that. That looks so much better. That looks so much better. Okay, that looks 10 times better with the sponge as opposed to the brush. Maybe it's like with liquid foundation where you can put it on with a brush but then you use a sponge to sheer it out and with powder foundation you use a sponge to apply it and then you use a brush to, to sheer powder foundation now. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm just a jackass and I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know, it could it could be that too. So this is looking a lot better now that I have applied it with the sponge that it came with. <laughs> that's on me. If there's a L'Oreal representative watching this video right now, please don't judge me, all right? I only been out here three days. It's only my third day out here, I don't know. You know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. It can, it'll be all right. It's fine. All right, so this is what the foundation looks like on its own. Um, I don't think it's terrible, but I also don't have much to go based off of for a powder foundation because I'm not someone who uses powder foundation all the time. But I don't think it looks terrible. I am going to help it out a little bit by you know doing the rest of my face like this is going to be a test wear and a review not really like a full-on foundation test just because I got things to do today so it's like we're reviewing but we're not reviewing the way that we did the other foundation review okay all right so let me help this out a little bit and I'm gonna come right back all right y'all I'm back so this is the finished look foundation along with you know everything else which will be down in the description box overall I don't think it looks terrible like I'm looking at it in the mirror and I think it looks a lot better 
in person than it does on camera. I, I can't necessarily say that that's the foundation's fault, that it doesn't look great on camera, but I can say that it does look very good in person. Um, I will insert pictures so you all can maybe get like a different view of it. I'm just ready to see how it holds up. Um, I haven't been very oily lately, so I don't think that'll be something that will be an issue, but I'm gonna wear it throughout the day, take some pictures, might go outside, might run some errands, and just kinda see how it holds up for the rest of the day. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Like, it had us in the first half, it really did, but I think that sponge was a game changer. So, we're just gonna, you know, do what we normally do throughout the day and see how it ends up, all right? So it is 4.07, I've had on this foundation for about six hours and I'm getting ready to take it off but I just want to go ahead and update y'all on what it looks like because it's good it's really good actually I'm very much so quite surprised I hate to say that I didn't have high hopes for this foundation but it turned out really well the color match as you can see is pretty decent um I'm a bit shiny but I don't think it looks bad I mean I think after about six hours if this is just as shiny as I look with no touch-ups or padding or anything I think that's great yeah I still look like like I told y'all before like it looks a little different on camera than it does in like a mirror but when I look in the mirror I barely see anything um as far as like shiny oil in this goes I have a little bit of oil here I think I have like a little bit at the creases but since this is a powder foundation I didn't even get that much creasing so that's great very minimal transfer I did end up putting on some setting spray which I'll link that down below so y'all know which one it was but I don't even think that the setting spray did much I think after I had let it sit for a little while the foundation it was just like in there you know it just soaked into my face so no transfer as y'all can see I'm in a completely different shirt from the one that I was in before and then the one that I was in before that so I've it has not transferred like this is the same face that I've had since 10 30 and it doesn't look bad it really really doesn't I don't have complaints I I guess I would say if you plan on picking up this foundation definitely use a sponge if you hate the sponge that comes with the packaging like I did like just get over it and use the sponge because it works be prepared to just kind of have to shade match with it because hold on all right I'm back okay so if you do plan on picking up this foundation please be aware that you're gonna have to shade match a bit I think they're only like 12 shades in this collection which is just so far from what it should be for a foundation collection but it's really good I mean I usually have a very hard time finding a foundation match for me because my <laughs> my skin tone is warm but my undertones are neutral and it's just a whole thing but this matched extraordinarily well for a powder foundation I definitely think that I'll use it again I would have loved to have had my hands on this during the summertime when you know you're sweating and you're doing stuff and the sun's beating down in your face and yeah I would have loved this for for summer when it was just way too hot for regular foundation so I will definitely be keeping this around and I'll be using it again y'all might see this in a couple videos down the line I don't know but that's just one thing to think about if you want to pick it up I'm I'm going to give it a four out of five stars simply because of the shade range. The shade range is just not there and they need to do better. But other than that, this is a pretty good product and I think it's $14.99. I mean, if you can find a shade that works for you, I would definitely pick it up. I mean, I, it's, it's supposed to be good for every skin type. I have normal to oily skin, so if you're like me and you just get oily, you know, in your T-zone areas, I think this would be great for you. I have minimum oil right now and I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with this. It was a decent pickup. It's it surprised me. I'm not gonna lie. This product surprised me. So if you have enjoyed this video and you think you're gonna pick this up, 
tell me down below because I want to see everybody's looks. If you do like a little cute look on Instagram or something, please tag me. Comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you're going to pick it up. Did I say that already? Did I just say that? Okay, whatever. Comment down below. Like this video if you have gotten this far and if you think that I look pretty damn cute in my, what's the name? In my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Sponsor me, L'Oreal. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.